Boise police are trying to learn what happened to a man found seriously injured in a Boise parking lot this morning. Just before 8 a.m., police were called to Federal Way and South Findlay Avenue, where they found a man lying in the parking lot with serious and potentially life-threatening injuries. The man, said to be in his 40s, is currently hospitalized. If you have any information, please call Crime Stoppers. Thousands of Bronco students are now officially alumni of Boise State University. With nearly 4,000 students eligible for graduation this May, Boise State anticipates the tally to break the record for the most graduates ever recorded for a public university in the state of Idaho. The Taco Bell Arena was at capacity by the time the ceremony started, and the speak student speaker was a teenage mom who's since raised her daughter on her own. And according to the narrative the world has incessantly told you about me, I am the least likely candidate you would consider for having the great honor of standing before you today. Slayton, by the way, graduated with a 4.0 grade point average, and today marks the 96th commencement ceremony for Boise State. Northwest Nazarene University also held its commencement ceremony today, their 99th annual ceremony at the Idaho Center. Now, Dr. David Graves, the general superintendent for the Church of the Nazarene, was today's keynote speaker. United Airlines has announced it will outsource 50 Boise jobs to SkyWest Airlines. Those employees will make significantly lower wages as a result. The move comes just months after SkyWest became the first business to win a new Idaho tax incentive. The incentive, worth more than a million dollars, came with a promise to bring 50 new high-paying jobs to Boise. Our media partners at the Idaho Statesman report that spokespeople for SkyWest and the Idaho Department of Commerce say they didn't know of United's outsourcing plans when the tax incentive was granted. United will no longer have any operation employees in Boise.